My next recipe I have for you is perfect for entertaining and it's perfect for these warmer summer months. It's my salmon, fennel and sour cream picnic tart. It's a breeze to make and it's an absolute showstopper next time you've got guests coming around. So I've just got some puff pastry here and it's really just a bit of arts and crafts that we need to do now to get this pastry constructed. So carefully remove the blue paper and I'm gonna go straight on. So I'm gonna just slice one of these in half and we're gonna create a little border around the outside of the pastry. So just by eye, that's about half. Now you wanna work relatively quickly. Once the pastry starts to melt, it, uh, it goes pretty quickly. So we need four strips now. So just using the end of the knife, just kind of roughly measure and go, yeah, that's, that's neat enough. And we need to create four two centimetre long strips of pastry. Now these just go onto the outside of the first little piece. So we're just creating a border that we can fill with our fillings later on. So this gets blind baked plain. So I want to weigh down the middle part of the pastry. So just with some more baking paper, show you a little trick. I remember growing up, mum used to use lentils or rice uh, to do our kind of blind baking. But someone's come up with these clever little beads now that you can reuse. So hopefully that border will keep these little weights from rolling out. The oven is cranked up to 200 degrees. This pastry needs about 15 to 20 minutes just to become beautiful and golden and puffed. So while that's cooking, that gives us enough time to get on with the rest of the tart filling. Okay, some of my favorite fillings are going in today's tart, but of course you guys could use anything at home that you like. If you've got leftover roast pumpkin and ricotta, that makes a great combination. But fennel for me is delicious with salmon. It's got a beautiful kind of anise flavor. So I've got a little mandolin here, or if you're really good with your knife skills, you could just slice them up nice and fine. All right, so the fennel goes into that iced water. So this is just gonna sit for five minutes and it will kind of give it a little crinkle. And I'm gonna do the same thing with some radishes. So radishes, beautiful, little heat to them, kind of pepperiness. Same thing, radishes can just go in with the fennel into that iced water. And we just kind of set that aside for around 10 minutes just to kind of keep them nice and crunchy and crispy. And by then, our pastry should be ready. All right, really doesn't get any simpler than that. The pastry's come out of the oven. I'm just giving it five or 10 minutes just to cool down. I've strained the fennel and radishes from that chilled water. So they're delicious and kind of crispy and they go nice little shapes. Ice water's done its job. A couple of other things I'm gonna put into our fennel is some lemon zest. So lemon zest and lemon juice are gonna go great with that kind of oily salmon. And a little squeeze of lemon juice. Now you wanna do this right before serving, otherwise the lemon juice can kind of soften down everything. Some extra virgin olive oil, of course. A pinch of the old sea salt just to season up everything. Now I've got some flat leaf parsley. I've just picked the leaves off here. Just adds another beautiful kind of fresh dimension to our summer tart. Alrighty, it's really just a matter of construction now. So the base for the tart, we need something there to glue all the toppings onto it. So I've got some sour cream and chives dip. So this gives us another layer of flavour to the bottom of the tart. You can see those pastry weights have done their job. They've kept that uh, middle part of the pastry nice and kind of low, which is what we want. And I find the easiest way to spread this on is just with the back of a spoon. So this acts as creaminess and flavour, and it also acts as kind of the mortar for our tart. Beautiful hint of lemon in there. And you just want to kind of pile that on. Make sure you get a little bit of everything. Okay, so I have got some of the hot smoked salmon here. So this is a great little cheats thing to have at home. I always have these. They last forever in the fridge. And what you wanna do is just put some nice kind of chunky 
flakes of that hot smoked salmon over the tart. A few last sprigs of dill just to go on. Fantastic combination of flavours, simply put together. Entertaining, doesn't get easier than that.